Hi, Hi, Dr. Ferguson. Hi, hello, I'm Dr. Ferguson, and this is my patient, Kathleen, and she has been very gracious today to, to help demo the uh, neuropathy injection procedure. Now, Kathleen has been coming to me for uh, several weeks now and has had tremendous improvement over her neuropathy symptoms. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to do right now, we're going to go ahead and prep the area. We use a, uh, a, uh, a betadine cleanser to disinfect. Uh, this is a what we call a clean procedure. Uh, not necessarily sterile, but clean. I'm going to go ahead and take a syringe here full of bupivacaine, 0.25%. And this is what we will be injecting into the extremity. Now I have five main points that we inject, and they correlate with the peripheral nerves. Sural nerve, deep peroneal, superficial peroneal, posterior tib, and saphenous nerves. And we will not be injecting the nerves themselves, we will be infiltrating right next to the nerves. And later we will use a device to help push the medication into the nerve slash uh, cells of the nerves and muscle. And what this will do, medication and the stem will help increase blood supply, help open the sodium gates and allow the toxins that have built up over time in the nerves to exit. So are you ready? Yeah. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make an entry just posterior to the tibial, excuse me, just posterior to the fib, about one hand's breadth above the lateral malleolus. And I'm using a 29 gauge needle. Quick entry. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to infiltrate approximately one cc right where I know that that sural nerve runs. Got a 4 by 4 for me. Thank you. Now I'm going to go ahead and find the tibial crest here. And I'm going to palpate about two finger breaths over. And I'm going to find that little division right there in the extensor tendons. That's going to be my second point. Quick little snap entry about a 45 degree cephalid direction with just a little lateral drift. Approximately one cc is injected going in and one cc injected coming out. Using the same entry point, I'm going to eject the medial branch of the superficial peroneal. And using the same entry point, I'm going to inject approximately 1 cc in the lateral branch of the superficial peroneal. We'll find my point about one hand's breadth above the medial malleolus and just right in front of the Achilles uh, soleus tendon and behind the, uh, the tibia. And that's going to be my injection site. Once again, about 45 degrees cephalad. One cc going in, one cc coming out as I'm infiltrating. And then finally what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn the needle up. And I'm going to cannulate that same entry point. And as you can see, the needle is fairly flexible. I'm going to keep the needle fairly superficial and infiltrate the saphenous nerve branch coming across. Rolling the leg like that, and then I have exited. I'm going to hand that off, and we're on to the next extremity. Let me just kind of keep that right up there. And have CC out. And that is the procedure for doing nerve infiltrations for distal, or what we call stocking, Neuropathy. How are you feeling? Fine. 
Now, would you like to tell the camera uh, how much improvement you've had? About 100%. About 100%. Yeah. Really? Yeah, because when I first came in here, I couldn't feel anything when I walked. Now my feet itch on the bottom, my calves itch. It's like I'm a new person. So she's without pain now. Yeah. Now we're going to go ahead and apply the electrodes here. This is a fun one. And what will happen <laughs> is the electrodes will help uh, migrate the bupivacaine into the cells of both the nerve and the muscle, therefore uh, allowing some of the toxins to exit out of the cells and with the increase in blood flow, exit out of the extremity. And that's the procedure. In the beginning it wasn't pain, painful, now it is, I can feel the needle. In the beginning she had little sensation other than just pain at times, and now she has her sensation back and mm -hmm. no pain other than when I'm injecting her. Gotcha. <laughs> you will. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. How long have you been coming here? Uh, about eight years. Okay. Wow. Okay. Thank you. Took me a long time to find a good doctor. I can see that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. When you find one, you want to keep them. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Dr. Good. Ferguson? Yeah, he's good. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. So you've been doing neuropathy treatment for eight years as well? Or just... No. Okay. Um, I think it, I'm on my third month. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's it awesome. It takes four months. That's awesome. The first month, you go twice a week to get your injections. On the third week, you start getting your stimulation. Gotcha. And that's what they're doing now. Ah, okay. Kind of so then, but, so what kind of pain were you having before? I wasn't having any pain. Okay. It was just no feeling. Wow. And right in here, it felt like I had socks that were too tight. Huh. I really? came in for a physical, and I had a list of things, like we're supposed to, mm. and checked out my legs, and he goes, I know what you got. And so we started, started treatment that day. Wow. It's the 7th of August. Okay. So in the last three or four months, though, it's been, your feeling is back? Yeah, it took about two months, I'm going to say, about five weeks, five or six weeks, wow. before I could start feeling again, actually. Hmm. And the first thing I noticed was that I was getting hair on my toes. Really? Yeah. Fair enough. So your lifestyle has changed at this point then, mm -hmm. I take it? Yeah. There's a, were you not immobilized, just having a hard time walking? Yeah, it would hurt. I didn't, if I stepped on something, I didn't know. Gotcha. I stepped on it. Wow. And then when your feet start itching, the bottom of your feet, your calves, you go, you want to go out and celebrate? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, it is. That is awesome. Uh, excuse me. Some of the causes of neuropathy would be diabetic peripheral neuropathy, uh, pressure neuropathy, chemically induced neuropathy, such as uh, chemotherapy, secondary to um, cancer therapy, uh, as well as, let's see, HIV would also be a very common cause of neuropathy. Uh, there are many others, but these are uh, the most common causes of neuropathy. Yeah. Neuropathy can present with many different faces. As I say, there's many faces in neuropathy. You can quote me on that. Um, anywhere from pins and needles to numbness to um, walking on glass, walking on sand, to just tingling what we call paresthesias. All these are some of the early signs of neuropathy. And as a matter of fact, some of these can be the first indication that one has diabetes. I would recommend that an individual experiencing any of these symptoms see their doctor to have the neuropathy and the cause or etiology investigated.